continues to put a spirited fight to quell insecurity in the North Rift region. Interior Cabinet Secretary, that is Kithure Kendeke, on Thursday toured Beringo County to assess uh, the commercial relief operation. This coming just hours after bandits attacked Luruk area, injuring one person and making way or making away with 300 livestock. The volatile North Rift region is still not at peace, despite the ongoing operation to stop banditry and clashes. Interior CS Kiture Kindiki's visit today in Baringo came in the wake of a bandit attack in Luruk area that left one person injured and at least 300 animals stolen. We have said going forward we don't want to hear of any livestock theft again. The agencies working here must find a way of preventing livestock theft. We are supporting you and investing in intelligence gathering to ensure that we prevent bandits from attacking and robbing our people. But at the same time, when an attack happens, when livestock is stolen, the livestock must be tracked, recovered, and returned in full to the people who own that livestock. On the Wednesday midday attack, residents say heavily armed bandits struck and started shooting extensively, forcing herders to run away. I want to take this opportunity to give my pole for those whose relatives were hurt in yesterday's attack. And I have discussed with a member of parliament for Baringo North. He will be going to see them in the hospital on our behalf this afternoon uh, to take his pole. And uh, perhaps when I come back to Baringo next week, I should be able to visit Baringo North. And we will be able also to visit some of the families that have been affected by this problem of bandits. CS Kindiki has waged renewed war against bandits, saying the government will not be cowed by a few individuals. Kindiki, who was assessing the security exercise, dubbed Komesha Walifu, visited Ngelesha Hills, Tandare Valley, Arabal, and, and Kokon Hills, which have been used as hideouts for bandits. Free from bandits. But we must make sure they don't return there again. And therefore, our National Police Service officers, the multi-agency teams here, including our partners in this effort, the Kenya Defense Forces, we must make sure that these places remain out of bounds for bandits and criminals for the rest of our time. We must not entertain a, a situation where these criminals sneak back in the name of anything in the name of grazing, in the name of water, in the name of anything, these are now crime scenes. We have sealed them off. Insecurity in the region has led to closure of schools, but Kindiki has assured parents that their children will embark on studies after the government gave 100 million for reconstruction of classes. I would like to announce that the government has released 100 million for the rehabilitation of all the schools that were affected in Baringo North and Baringo South by banditry. The money has been released and our officers from the Kenya Defense Forces will help us in the reconstruction. Innocent Ogaro, look up TV.